Hi everyone, I'm Asha, an Akashic Records reader, blogger and podcaster. In this series, we will demystify the Akashic Records by bringing to you bite-sized contents on frequently asked questions relating to the Akashic Records. We will also explore topics relating to spirituality, as well as practical application, learnings and reflections in the Akashic Records. My Akashic Masters are very excited to join us in this journey. We send much love, light and blessings to all. Welcome to Episode 7 on What Does Spirituality Really Mean? In this episode, we connect with my Akashic Masters to share their perspectives and insights on this query. So let's begin. Dear children, the topic of spirituality is often misunderstood by mankind. When people talk about spirituality, they often associate it with a particular religion, god or object that they could personally identify with. For example, people often understand spirituality as a process of deepening their existing connection with or worship to particular deities or god that they subscribe to. By extension, people often identify spirituality with the elaborate rituals and procedures associated with worshipping particular deities or god. We wish to clarify that there is nothing inherently wrong in these practices. At every moment, people are often trying to interpret and understand the realms that exist above and beyond the earthly plane. This is the way humans have adapted over centuries and even generations to find a sweet spot of their comfort zone. But though they are still physically on the earthly plane, they are able to rely on these practices to tap into the ancient wisdom, knowledge and blessings from the higher realms. Yet there is something lacking when we approach spirituality externally. We end up looking outside of us all the time for clues of what spirituality really means. Is spirituality to be found in the divination lords? that the divine beings have chosen for us? Is spirituality to be found in the way of life and behavior of persons that we hold in high regard and respect? Is spirituality to be found in religiously making offerings to and asking blessings from particular deities or God? For most of our life, we may end up constantly seeking outside of us for the elusive spirituality seemingly beyond our reach. What if we share with everyone that spirituality is to be found inside you? That spirituality is basically an inside job where we have to shed away layers of excess, unwanted, and lower dense energies taken on from others throughout lifetimes, as well as all and false beliefs to allow us to connect closer to the essence of who we are. It is akin to peeling off an onion layer by layer until we get to the very essence of what it really is. The essence of who we are is light. It is the same light that other divine beings possess. It is the same light that we have searched endlessly for lifetimes outside of us. It is the same light that connects us into the infinite wisdom, knowledge and blessings from God or source or universe. When we are able 
to access the light within us and around us, we can slowly sense the oneness energies all around us. That in reality, there is no great divide between us and other people, whether we like or know them or not, or between us and the higher or lower realms. We are one and the same. So you might be wondering, how do we connect to the light within us? For a start, spend time alone with yourself. For example, 10 to 15 minutes daily to allow you to connect deeper within yourself. Create the time and space for you to have uninterrupted quality time for meditation or even contemplation or reflections daily. Put aside your mobile phone, laptop, or other device to temporarily disengage from the flurry of activities and updates in the external world. Allow this to be your daily me time, to simply enjoy, relax, heal and nourish in your own presence. When you first begin to sit in silence, you may sense that your mind is bombarded and overwhelmed with plenty of thoughts and distractions. This is perfectly normal. Simply observe like an outsider the thoughts, emotions and feelings that come up. You may even want to journal them down after the session. Over time, with practice, the mind will slowly get quieter. Do not seek for the elusive emptiness of mind instantaneously. Instead, for every effort to meditate, seek for a deeper connection within yourself, understanding your own body, energies, thoughts, emotions, and feelings. Thank you for tuning in to this podcast. If you would like to read about my dialogues and reflections with the Akashic Masters, you can visit my free blog at asha-akashicrecords.com. Till next time, take care.